Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, myself, Amala Jos. Uh, uh, I'm a postgraduate from National Forensic Sciences University. And my topic today is on a study on fingerprint pores for determination of gender. So my aim was to determine if a gender identification is possible if we, uh, if we analyze the fingerprint pores. So for that, the objectives were to collect the rolled and latent fingerprints of male and female and the dimension of shape uh, in this paper, I have only taken the dimension and shape of pores from rolled and latent impressions. Uh, and the third objective was to compare the fingerprints uh, of male with female based on pore characteristics. And the hypothesis was, the, the hypothesis I kept was the pore size of male is larger than the pore size of female. So the introduction is like forensic science. What is forensic science? Forensic science is the application of science uh, in the field of justice to solve crimes of, and for many other government like for a very long time. Uh, and what is fingerprint? Fingerprint is an impression left by the human finger uh, due to the friction ridges. So mainly the fingerprint follows the principle of individuality. So they are unique and individual from for every person. So friction ridge patterns are divided into three types, which are arches, loops, and walls. There are three types of finger. Generally, there are three types of fingerprints that are found that can be found at crime scene. They are latent or invisible fingerprints, uh, patent, which can also be known as visible visible fingerprints, and the plastic or three D fingerprints. So Edmund Locard is known as the father of fluoroscopy, uh, who is the first one to develop a method, uh, you like using pores, and he also has solved a burglary case using the por uh, uh, poroscopy. poroscopy. Uh, so the research methodology was first one was a sample collection. Uh, all the information about the participants were collected, like the age, sex, uh, name, and the place they live. Uh, the materials that were used were fingerprint record slips, uh, ink pad, development powders for uh, latent prints, uh, the, from the surfaces like glass, mobile screen, uh, teacups, etc. Uh, the collection method was uh, was. Uh, was that the subjects were asked to stand in front of the table and they were asked to roll their fingers on the pad and from one side to the other uh, of the nail to the other side uh, and the same method was uh, and they were asked to do that uh, the same method on the uh, of the, uh, fingerprint cards also fingerprint slips also and for the analysis uh, i used the stereo microscope uh, the stereo micro i, I used was STEMI 2000 c uh, and the sample analysis, all the collected samples were analyzed with the help of stereo microscope uh, under the magnitude 0.65x by observing the pore dimension of both male and female. And the uh, method how to collect, how to analyze was, uh, I took a four square of each two cross two mm, uh, wherever the pores were visible on a fingerprint and uh, an average was taken so that I can get a whole uh, dimension of, of that each fingerprint. Uh, for the results and discussion was the first part was a qualitative assessment of like the 24 samples were collected for, from which I got five overall fingerprint samples were 504, including the latent and the uh, 10 print cards. Uh, so their uh, quality was checked, like how the shape and the uh, shape is, how much they have been developed in case of latent prints. Uh, the second part was to observe the pore dimension and shape of the pores and uh, take a graph from uh, from the uh, uh, value that I got by using stereo microscope. So the graph second part included uh, making a graph. Uh, then third part was using the statistic significance for validation. So the hypothesis, the null hypothesis that was pore size and shape are independent on gender. And the alternate hypothesis was uh, pore size and shape are dependent on gender. So the last part was uh, the uh, statistical value uh, and the comparison of uh, finger, developed fingerprint pores with the uh, latent uh, 10 print card uh, uh, rolled impressions. So the uh, for the latent fingerprints, the, uh, the p-value, the statistical significant value I got was 0 0.00145. And the standard deviation was around 0 0.02 to 0 0.03, which was like, only three percent similarity was observed between male and female. This is the whole Excel sheet of 
uh, what value, how I collected the values, and this is a whole Excel sheet with t-test and uh, standard deviation. Uh, this is for the transparent that uh, this one was for the rolled impressions only uh, and this uh, excel sheet is for transparent with fingerprints uh, the comparison uh, these are the graphs like uh, in uh, these graph in these graphs it can be seen that the blue line uh, indicates the male uh, uh, fingerprints of male and the orange indicates the fingerprint of female so in this graph there is a, a slight difference in male and female uh, in this is the uh, graph of each fingers and uh, this is for uh, left index and uh, left uh, fingerprints and uh, left hand fingerprints and right hand uh, fingerprints and the last one the last graph is of graph variation in latent prints like the same the blue line indicates the male and the orange line indicates the female fingerprints so this was the latent print fingerprints that was developed and then analyzed so the conclusion i got from this study was um there is a, this from the statistical value i got that in rolled impressions the p value ranged from 0 0.00012 to 0 0.00157 and the uh, p value for latent finger fingerprint it was uh, like 0 0.000145 so which shows that uh, that the hypothesis the alternate hypothesis that my hypothesis is pore size in male is larger than a uh, larger than in female so uh, it was also observed that a higher quality of uh, latent fingerprint was produced on smooth surfaces so and the third and fourth part of the stu study validates the aim and objective of the research by statistical analysis, which indicate a overwhelming positive result supporting the objective of the study. Uh, the, uh, the forensic significance can, it's, it's like if uh, we know that fingerprints are very unique and it is one of the individual feature of a person for identification, uh, but what if we get a partial uh, print or a very little part of the fingerprint which from which we are not able to develop like uh, we are not able to know what the pattern uh, pattern or ridge count or uh, ridge, ridge density so if in that case if if we if we analyze the fingerprint pores or the dimensions uh, it can that can be this research or the study can be useful in that and this can be also useful if it can be used as a biometrics by uh, by taking the pore, pore dimension, including the pore dimension also into uh, biometric. Uh, and in case of shape, uh, I didn't find that much uh, difference in male and female. So uh, yes, and these are the references that I took for my study. Uh, thank you.